This video shows examples of extending a pattern to solve problems. Question one says Ted is planning a vacation. The table shows the cost of staying at a motel at the destination. And then you can see the cost of various nights. If you had $873 to spend on the motel, how many nights can you stay? So the first thing that I would do is figure out what is going up in between each night. So we can figure out the cost per night. And it looks like this has gone up from 291 to 388. And 388 to 291 is 88 plus 9, which is $97. You'll want to check to make sure that that's happening between each night. And that is 97. And then this is also 97. So now we just need to figure out how many nights it will take to equal 873. So I'm going to add 97 to the 6th ninth, And that would be 17. So this is 7 nights. We can do 97. We can do more than that. 16. 9 and 7 is 16. And 1 is 17. So this is 8 nights. And we can do more than that. 13. 17. $873, so that is nine nights, A. Question two says the Hanson family went on vacation. The table shows the number of hours and the distance that they drove. We have a table that, show, that shows eight hours all the way up to 11 and then the distances. How many hours will it take for the family to drive 520 miles? This is very similar to the previous one. Looks like each hour they're going 40 miles. So we can check to make sure that that really is 40, but it is. So we just want to find out how long it'll take to get 520. So 440 was 11 hours. If we add 40 more, that's 12 hours. 40 more, that's 13 hours. So your answer is 13 hours. Question three says Hiroshi tutors students in Spanish. His goal is to earn $195 each week. The table shows his earnings increase with the number of hours that he tutors. And it uh, looks like that he, between four and five hours, he earned $15 more. So plus 15 here, plus 15 here, and it looks like plus 15 here. So he's, it looks like he's earning $15 per hour. Last week he tutored for 10 hours. How much less than his goal? There's a keyword. How much less than his goal did he earn from tutoring last week? Well, his goal was to earn $195 each week. So if he's earning $15 an hour, 10 times 15 equals $150 that he earned. But the question says how much less than his goal. So we need to do $195, the goal, subtract $150, and we get $45 less than his goal, C. Question four is the same type of problem. Without multiple choice, Garrett is planning a vacation. He has decided that he can spend up to $1,280 to rent a motel room. The table shows the cost of staying at one of the motels that he's considering. So it looks like the number of nights is just increasing by one each time. So because this went up by one every single time, we can just look at how much these are going up each time to figure out the price of the motel each night. So it looks like this first one has gone up by... $98, and we want to make sure that that's what it's going up by each time, but it looks like it is $98 each time. So per night is $98 per night. It says if Garrett stays in the motel for 11 nights, how much less than $1,280 will the room cost? So we need to take our $98 per night, multiply it by 11 nights, And we get $1,078 for 11 nights. His budgeted total was $1,280. Now we're going to do some regrouping here. And it looks like he is saving $202 from his budgeted amount.